You know, now the very folks who didn't think Donald Trump would ever become president are dishing out advice for what he should do as president. Don't mess with the health care law. It can't be undone. Don't retreat on climate change or the whole planet is done. Don't cut taxes. The government needs the cash. Nickel and dime pundits offering nickel and dime advice for a guy who has always ignored it and is now president-elect of the United States be because he got it. And not them. Everybody else, the everybody else the pundits didn't see and worse, didn't really want to see. The everybody else who wasn't them, the everybody else between the coasts, the everybody else stuck in the middle wondering what happened to their middle class. The experts did not see them, but Donald Trump did. The experts called him a joke and his supporters even worse. And now they're offering him advice to quote President Obama, come on, man, come on. And think about that as you ponder the hypocrisy of all of this. Let me remind, and I'll let you decide. These are the same pundits who said that Trump would fizzle, and he didn't, that he would even get his own party in line, but he couldn't, and he did. These are the same pundits who said that Trump was wasting his time going to traditionally Democratic states like Pennsylvania. It turns out he wasn't. The same pundits who said he had little appeal beyond angry white male voters. Apparently, they missed lots of other angry voters. The same pundits who said he would lose the Catholic vote, and he didn't, never win over union voters, and he did, do worse among minorities than any Republican nominee. Turns out the best since Ronald Reagan was their nominee. These are the same pundits who said his campaign had no money, so it had no chance. Apparently, it did. The same pundits who said he needed more ads, apparently he did not. The same pundits who said he had no ground game, no, he just had voters who were game. The same pundits who said he was too crass, forgetting maybe voters thought his opponent was too crooked. You know, it is one thing to keep missing it. It is quite another to learn nothing from the experience and just keep stepping in it. Predictions that were never right political obituaries that were always wrong, a media that dared to lecture a businessman on his scruples but said nothing about their own questionable morals, elitists currying favor with another candidate's campaign through emails that would make you vomit, now pounding their wounded chests for relevance that would make you scream, for God's sake, stop it! Stop pretending to be the experts you are not and stop by a mirror to see what you really are phonies who would sooner offer self-serving advice to a candidate who doesn't need it than ever fathom American voters have had their fill of it and you. The disgusting, the depressing, the dismissing, the despicable. What is the word? The deplorables.